Hello, Ellie. Hello, where am I? Since it's cumbersome to explain one by one, I won't. You'll forget it anyway. What? Thank you so much for saving Rubrum. You did a great job removing the white prickly vine. You also did well by promising to reconstruct the village and bringing in the first villager, Kyla the Carpenter. You also found the prickly vine nucleus well. Now all you have to do is make Lunar's oil one more time. Look, I'm sorry, but I really don't know what you're talking about at all. It's truly amazing that your reaction is different every time, even though you can't remember. Uh, I'll probably remember this one. What? I came in after drinking Dream Recollection Potion. What? It felt like I kept having weird dreams, so I drank it beforehand. Wait, wait, you drank what now? Is this the weird dream I've been having? Okay, good. I'll do it again. <laughs> if I order a pizza, it's not delivered to the promised window. I should get my five deliver five dollar delivery fee reimbursed. I'll still tip. But well, you're charging me five dollars for delivery, so deliver. I mean, I learned from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie that that's the rules. The rules are clear. <coughs> nice to meet you, girl. Are you the apprentice witch, Ellie Blue River? Uh, I do remember. <laughs> uh, do I remember anything? You're only doing this now. You couldn't remember even if I begged you until now. I'm not sure what's going on, but don't worry, I'll remember everything from now on. That's the problem. Why did the first meeting that must be dignified become like this? Please tell me now. My dignity is a god. Who are you and why did you appear in my dream? I also learned from that movie that a baseball bat could also be called a Saken Seiko bat. <laughs> I'm glad that, that image came back to you. Yes, okay, I'll tell you. Still, it's been a while since I talked about this. I'm the White Cat God, the guardian deity of this village. Ellie, I called you to this village because I have a favor to ask you. God? A god called me to this place? Yes, I called you to this village. But as I was on the train, I accidentally... Yes, the train stopped because the prickly vine grew by chance. I missed the train because I overslept. Yes, you missed the train because I made you accidentally oversleep. You did? Even if it wasn't for the dream, we met once before. Ah, uh, no way. The cat that was on the lakeshore? I guided you to this witch's house. And I showed up in your dreams so that you'd oversleep and miss the train. Yeah, the cat has become Joe from Family Guy. <laughs> I see, no wonder I overslept. What was the favor that you're trying to ask me by doing so? This is a very personal and selfish request. I wanted to help this village become scattered by the prickly vines. But a god without believers is powerless. I couldn't do it with my own power. The sleep for Gusco. Gusco sleep. <laughs> Ask about the previous witch. Yeah, the person whose house I'm squatting in. The witch didn't come to the witch's house anymore. That now abandoned. God, it, it says they took the dialogue for this game, which again was originally Korean. And I swear they just put it through Google Translate. You're the only one that can ask, Ellie. Let me repeat what I said in the dream that night. Ellie, please, help this village. All right. Good, you're still doing so. I feel like that was, that was the God's dialogue. Precisely. You reacted the same way the first time we met in your sleep. Just like in today's dream, where I even forgot to count out of it times. Even back then, I didn't know about Rubrum. At night, Arden, or the village at all. 
You've aided a village, its people, and a god, none of whom you've met before. Why did you do that? Why did you say you'll help me without hesitation? Happiness, obligation, fun, graduation. Some of these have no context. For fun, I did it for fun. My character admitted to arsony for fun already, so we'll just, we're doing this for fun too. I grew up always listening to the story of my mom's adventure. I really wanted to go on that kind of adventure someday. A shiny tree in the mountain, prickly vines all over, rare plants and animals. For me, staying in this village seemed much more fun than Hylian. And there are many in Hylian other than myself who can help. I'm glad it was you on the train back then, Ellie. Any witch would have done what I did. Ellipses. No, Ellie. Absolutely not. I'm so glad it's you. Thanks again. It's not such a big deal, either. Oh, come to think of it. Yes? You have any questions? Perhaps the fact that I felt like I'd been there when I first entered the village was also... God. Yes. There was a time when I showed you the village in the dream. Although you don't remember. How's it going, Poop? And was that the also? And was that the also the reason I felt as if I knew a knight? Ooh. I really talked a lot about a knight. I've been watching a knight since she was born until now. A knight was a real cutie as a child, you know? It was so bold and articulate. Oh, look at the time. What's the time? Time to get up. You should wake up from the dream when it's morning. Since I'm always here, you can come meet me anytime. Since you won't remember otherwise, now I'll appear only after you've had dream recollection potion. Okay, I'll come here again if I have something to say. Okay, thank you. I look forward to your support in the future, Ellie. Me too, White Cat God. <gasps> Virgil! Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Let me guess. Huh? Guess what? Did a goddess dressed in white come to tell you how you're the chosen warrior? Shit, his voice fell apart. Did a goddess dressed in white come to tell you how you're a chosen warrior? Ah, uh, kinda. Though original. But Virgil, this is different. Different as in the main character is a bit lacking in some aspects. Exclamation marks. White cat god is best god. I prefer black cat god. Spookier, more Halloween appropriate. This is my story! It's not about some chosen warrior from your typical fairy tale. And so you've decided to be a heroine of this tale. Oh my god. Gotta get his voice back. Hold on. Here's Johnny. Zoinks. And so you've decided... I <laughs> can't do it. Can't do it. And so you've decided to be a heroine of this tale as old as time. Of course. After all, the heroine always goes on fun adventures. Woof. A Bobcat Goldthwaite. I feel like my throat would explode. Oh god, he's dead from Bobcat! He's dead from Bobcat! <laughs> Can't. Bobcat's just like fucked up voice. Well, you're right. Only the white cat got here. Hot nine tail fox is best god. I mean, that's also true. Uh, this game is adorable in every single respect and amazing. It's also on Game Pass, so if you want to play, like, a super cute, super healing game, you got it. Gilbert Gottfried. I would need to re-listen to some Gilbert Gottfried lines. It's a very adorable game. <gasps> I have no quest anymore. I did it. Can I play a game where my fridge works? Sure, it's called using any of the other three fridges that are available in the house. There are so many fridges. Rubber him. Hey, Allie. Let me try guessing this time. Roy's house is complete, right? How did you know? Because Rubber him came to pick me up like this last time, too. Yeah, exactly. Let's hurry up and go, Allie. 
Meet our new friend. Do, do. Ephemeris! You didn't watch the the movie with us, so that's funny. <laughs> In in the Mangler, there is a scene where a fridge, which also got possessed by a demon, murders children. <laughs> oh my god, he's a hot dog man! Wait, is that the hot wolf guy we met on the train? No, this is a different hot wolf man. Wow, I love the scent of flowers! It is him! Hot wolf man's back! I don't remember what he sounded like on the train. Inside, it's still unorganized and messy, but I put the belongings I brought outside for now. I'm glad you like it. The witch helped me what? The witch helped me a lot once again. You can thank me later. Ha ha ha. This is on all ends. It's just on the cute end. Like, look at the Ellie sprite. That's fucking adorable over there. But yes, there are a lot of anthropomorphized uh, animal people as well. Oh god, it's Raymond from Animal Crossing all over again. <laughs> uh. What's the matter? It's the person we saw on the train. I thought you were going to Hylian. This is an unexpected reunion. Yes, how fascinating. I suppose I should introduce myself properly. Hello, Roy. My name is Ellie. Yes, nice to meet you. I heard about you from a knight. You helped to get rid of the prickly vines in the village and restore the house. Thank you. I owe you one. It was nothing. <laughs> me too, me too, I helped too. Thank you as well, Rumrum. Haha! <laughs> when Kylie returned, it felt like a dream. But now Roy is back too. It made me feel excited again to see Kyla building Roy's house. Everyone's really gave her all this time, too. Ellie here! Let's pop this together! One, two, three! This is fun! T From the bottom of my heart, thank you, Ellie. It feels like only good things are happening to the village since you arrived. It's almost super happy, Yasa, because Ellie's here! I got your letter. I was surprised. Even when I left the village, I thought the prickly vines would never be removed. Thank you again, Ellie. I just did what a witch should do. Time to think of it, Arden didn't show again, right? <coughs> Arden, what's going on? Thank you for the resubscription. <coughs> Right, Uncle Arden said he has to make stew. He's strangely diligent when there aren't many customers. <laughs> Thanks for everything, Ellie. Keep up the good work. Keep up the good work. I'll go out of my way to help if Ellie's asking. I look forward to your support. Me too! Oh, Ellie, let me talk to you for a minute before you go. Andy! I love shortbread. It's a shame, though. I heard they aren't making it any longer. <laughs> I think it's just rimshot without the estimation mark? I didn't hear a rimshot go off. What's up, a knight? I looked around the village yesterday. Oh god, is the bot maybe... The bot might be a bit busted or something. That or what? Oh my god, there it is! Did you two write it at the same time and therefore it cancel itself out? <laughs> That's just weird. The giant prickly vines had made me lose hope that this day would come. Came across a game you know I'd enjoy? Tell me about it. If you posted the, uh, the suggestion box in the Discord, I will. I'll have an extra good chance of remembering it later on, too. Tales of Magial. I do have that, and that is a game I do want to try on, on stream at some point. That and Tome. Wait, Tales of... That is Tome! So Tome and Adam, those are the two that I want to try. So that, I got both of those ready. And I haven't forgotten the other games still that I have to try out. I 
I have a long list of games. Does he get to roll around in pee pee poo poo water? Almost certainly. Brings back old memories to see Kyla's house and Roy's house built so well. Thank you so much, Ellie. It wouldn't be enough to thank you a hundred times. No, not at all. It's something that I wanted to do. Matt, what's up? The ruins back here used to be a fountain. We used to gather here to chat, share snacks, and sing. I want to have an area like this ready for the others that may return in the future. I really shouldn't ask, but could you help me? Sure, I made a promise to help the villagers return. Thank you, Ellie. You can talk to Kyla for the details. It goes to a channel every day, posting jokes. Please, leave it to me! <clears throat> Listen, motherfucker, you better not charge me 500 gold for a blueprint again. Oh, there is no blueprint. Interesting. Well, in that case, what kind of potion do you want? <gasps> Cough candy! Accept. Shit, I need the pumpkin fur. I gotta go harass pumpkins! I love watching the stupid sprite waddle around so much. Give me your fur! Give me your fur, too. Advanced AI. It's advanced! That particular line from the pilot episode of Invader Zoom it always pops in my head when someone says it's advanced. Or just advanced in general. It's not stupid. It's advanced. Stop running! Give me your hair! Oh, I absolutely love Invader Zim. I have the box set for the DVDs that are shaped- it's shaped like Invader Zim's house. It's one of my prized collection items. The movie was so good! Enter the Florbus? Like, I was blown away at how good that movie was. The scene where, uh... He just teleports from on the stage to, like, the back of the theater to scream at a man that it's not scientifically possible for someone to love it more than he does is my favorite. I know, he is Gary's your avatar. Critters. Critters burn good. Planet Jackers, good episode. Creators burn real good. <laughs> Waffles! It was me! I was a turkey all along! <laughs> My love for that show cannot be overstated. It all happened at a very good time. I discovered Joan and Vasquez's work just as they announced Invader Zim. One of your favorite Zim lines is, a room with a moose. Just chewing walnuts slowly. <laughs> I control your arms. But yeah, I discovered John and the Homicidal Maniac and... Um... Oh no, I'm forgetting his name. Comics are so hard to see the spines of. We hold on a moment. Where are you? I can't find it. Thank you. I was like, 
The kid's name! What was the kid's name? The kid's name was Squee. Didn't watch this kid, he found it around college. Yeah, it's still good. It has aged well. Well, PM, plenty of time. Uh, talk to Kyle the Fighter, fix the fountain. We need the candy. Candy is. Smile bubble, terrier fur. Stage two to the right. Stage two to the right. It barely made it onto Nick. There were a lot of like. There's a lot of fun behind the scenes information where it's just like, oh, N Nickelodeon barely let this happen. Nickelodeon changed this one a lot. A lot of fights between the, the cast, the crew, and Nickelodeon as a company. I got to learn my candy. Oh, I got my candy. Do, 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 do. Talk to Kyla. And then we'll probably do some Vampire Survivor, because it has an update. Ba, 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 ba. Hey, you okay? You need some help? You're probably fine. Courage to Cover the Dog was another good show, too. Weird and dark, yeah. In particular, the episode with, uh... You've been naughty. So very naughty. Like, okay, this is a weird episode. <laughs> Kyle, you remember the fountain at the center of the village? Of course. It was nice when we used to go there to sip on wine from time to time. The knight says she wants to fix the fountain. That's a good idea. It needs some work, though. Aren't you tired of building houses all the time? Things I do for love. We're not covering all the boobs. There you go. I got some boob, boob, boob picture. I just be impatient if I stay still. It's also fun to see the village becoming nicer. Me too! Let's see. And the ingredients we have now wouldn't be enough. I'll work on the foundations. Can you get me some ingredients? Ten pieces of rock, ten mud, ten branches. Oh. Oh my god. I already have eleven branches. I have eleven mud. I need three rocks! Bang this out right now! I am gently nestled between the burbs boob. Burbs boobs. Or boobs. Oi! Let me in your fucking bird shop. Your, fl your flower shop. I can't go to the sexy dog uh, Roy's flower shop yet. I feel like going inside the buildings might also be an aspect of the early access experience here. I.e. we can't go inside them. Gonna waddle my way over to the rocks I need. Alright, two more rocks. One more rock. Fastest quest ever. And done. Gotta bring all the sexy animals to your town as a derpy little witch who has a history of arson. Sure. Speak. I'm still preparing. Speak. Did you use to own a flower shop in Hylian? Yes, I closed the town to come here. Aren't you sad? I would be lying if I said I wasn't. It was great to be able to come back to Wisteria. What makes you sad about it? 
there was a bakery I always wanted for breakfast. The bagels and donuts from there were delicious. I miss those. I still remember the food I ate on the train. Riding the train until my butt pretty much melted was terrifying, though. But it was a flavor that I will never forget. That's just two different conversations happening. there. Like, her sprite running is one of my favorite animations I've seen in a long time. It's just, it looks so fun. Shit. Where's Kyla? Little rubber man told me something. An eye in Alden might be up to something. What is it? I don't know. Rubber said a knight wouldn't tell him even when he begged. Anyway, they're definitely getting ready for something. Maybe a party or something. I wish I could just get hammered. But I guess that would be difficult with two little kids. Ha 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 ha. I'm not a little kid! Right, you're a cool witch. Party, I wonder if I have anything to prepare. I want to think of it. Don't you have something like this? During the Harvest Festival, the witches would gather in Hylian Square and put something down. At night, there were bursts of light coming from there. It was spectacular. That sounds like a firecracker potion. I got his voice back! Oh, thank god. Exactly! Why did I think of that? Because crafting was prohibited in the school for witches, but I'm an apprentice witch now! If they allow that, the school would have needed to be repaired at least ten times. For those that don't know, BL stands for boys love. Yowie. You know, when a boy and another boy kiss each other. Sexily. It wouldn't be that bad. I don't know what I did, but I guess I was helpful. Ha 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 ha. Right. I came up with a really good idea. When <laughs> Then do your best to repair this, Kyla. I'm going now. Something came up. Repairing the fountain will take more than a day. It's a recipe. We can ask Diane about it, right? Rubin would love it. I gotta get firecracker potion. When two boys oo-woo each other. Said a perfect sprite didn't exist, but here we are. Bye, Cracker Potion! It's a potion I've always wanted to try making! You too, Diane? Sure! It's the highlight of the Star Gun Festival! Right, I like the fireworks on the last day the most, too. There's somewhere I want to use it in this time. Can I get the recipe? Not too hard to register the recipe in the catalog, but. Ellie! As you likely already know, it's forbidden to craft a firecracker potion while enrolled in the School for Witches. Even when I'm just an apprentice? To be exact, there are limitations. Before the laws, a firecracker potion would often blow the butts off people or burn down houses. I mean, my character would only want this more. You have to report how many and for what purpose to the Witch Administration. The... the... the Administration? Yeah, you have to be careful. You'll accidentally end up in New York if you head up that way. <laughs> Route 90 is like, here's your last exit. Whoops, New York! Elia must have two left feet. Still haven't found the recipe. You say I'd have to report to the administration. Oh, you can just use the Master Witch's name. Master Witch's name! Please fill out the Master Witch's name, your name, the intended purpose, and how many right here. The Master Witch's name. What hell, you little furball? What the fuck is this translation sometimes? You're writing my name with your hellish handwriting? Looks like the Master Witch has quite the temper. If you'd like, you could also put the name of someone else. But then, Aria and Ellie just won for the village party. Confirmed. I'll add it to the Witch's catalog. My name's Diane. Thank you for coming today. Ooh. My heart's pounding on my chest every time something like this happens. Stop acting, it's terrible. You'll get caught. But I have no choice. I wrote down my mom's name because it was the only name I could think of. That should be fine, right? Let's go make a firecracker potion since we accomplished our goal. I'm really getting worried. The lies are piling on top of lies, Ellie.
rode my broom away from her the way you should. What are we I'm lying about everything? We claim to be an apprentice witch, but we don't actually have a master. We found this empty house, we just took it for ourselves. We're creating a whole new life here. Little mandrake roast, one-eyed frog roast, baked twinkle spider. Firecrackers are made entirely of animals we just put in a roasting machine and roasted. Conveniently. <sighs> we're looking at one more A firecracker display would be the perfect way to wrap up this session of Little Witch in the Woods. Alright, I need spiders. I need mandrake. I need frogs. Frogs show up after 6 p.m. Spiders we can collect now. And mandrake we can collect now. Have I drawn the mandrake yet? Yes, alright. Got Mandrake. Spider. Spider. Oh, you want to see a soft? So I'll show you a fucking soft. Who wants belly rubs? Belly rubs! Rubs. Belly rubs. Also, steal some of the fluff from the, uh, the appropriately named Squishy Chubs. You pet the Squishy Chubs to get their fur. And then, of course, the blue bubble lizards, we rub their bellies to get their bubbles. Ah, my own, thank you very much. Much appreciated. Oops, 6 p.m. That's perfect. I gotta go. Oh shit, I want more spiders first. Thank you very much, my dude. I appreciate it. The appreciation is strong. Oh shit, the spiders go away at night. They're daytime spiders. Might as well grab a tail feather while I'm here. I think I have enough spiders for what I need to do anyway. We got the last mandrake we needed. But yeah, I just need, uh, I just need frogs now. And the frogs come out after six. This is perfect. Everything lined up. Right, we gotta use nets for frogs. Yeah, I always appreciate it. In the summer more than ever. Doo, doo, doo. Ba, ba, ba. Ba, ba, ba. Give me those wind chimes. Give me the wind chimes. Don't hold out of me. song a lot. Nighttime song, best song. Inventory full. Ah, uh, the things I have I want. We'll get more rocks later. Having trouble with your phone? What kind of trouble? Provider switch, yeah. Ooh, new phone? What kind of phone are you getting tomorrow? I don't hate teeth. 
Do I have anything I can eat? Oh, what's up with the hat? Uh, this hat belonged to my mother before me. Which apparently was a somewhat traumatizing experience for the hat. It's very snarky and thinks we're done. It's a good character. I like the hat a lot. Yeah, like, when I heard that this was like Stardew Valley, but with, you know, witches and whimsical things, I was like, oh my god, finally! Have sticks? Yeah. Like, I am, probably will enjoy Stardew if I play it, but it's a little plain to me. Whereas this has the whimsy. I love the whimsy. I'm all about that whimsy. Alright, we gotta bake some stuff. I already have a roast frog. Whoops, a doodles. Guess I'm gonna roast more frogs. Alright, Mandrake. Start roasting you. I extract anything I have to extract. Squishy chub for oh inventory full. Now it's not full. Oh, it's still full. Fine. You away, put you away. Mm. Alright, Mandrake's roasted. Let's roast some spiders. Ten ten, we're getting a little sleepy. Getting a little sleepy. You. Uh, stage three to the right. What differentiates harvesting the bird feathers in the forest and not from Kyla? I think they're different types of birds. Very specifically, those are pom pom tail feathers. Special property of the pom pom tail feather. <laughs> okay. Those three things. Stage three to the right. Stage three to the right. Mandrake, frog, spider. A radically different game. Firecracker potion is ready! Finally made one with my own hands! Be careful handling it. It's probably supervised by the administration for a reason. Of course, but no one should get hurt. Let's take the firecracker potion tonight. We're gonna burn this fucking town to the ground, aren't we? That's the end game here. It's gonna end in disaster. We talked to animals who live in the village, but then we also roast frogs on the weekends. <laughs> Some people unwind on the weekend by roasting a bone. We, we roast whole frogs. We don't have acid here in the uh, the witch woods. Name Mr. Hello there. Roast frog is done. The firecracker potion. Just keep roasting them frogs. What happens if there's a frog person that comes to the village? We're gonna say, oh, the fireworks? 
Uh, you know, normal stuff. It's made of fireworks stuff. Don't worry about it. Why are you asking questions? Why are you asking so many questions? I don't, I don't want to worry about it. Oh my god. No. We're gonna fall asleep soon, come on! Once it hits. I can't wait for it, I gotta go. Oh god, oh god, oh god! Ooh. It's fireworks. Why don't you mind your own business? Alright, roasted frogs, put away. Pom pom tail feather, pumpkin terrier, bread. Still don't know what a rittering skift is. Black acorn with white stripes, a thin red leaf in the shape of a ribbon rests on top. Used as a rare ingredient. Huh. Well, I guess I'll leave it in the chest then. Once we have this fireworks display go off. Oh no! <laughs> it's the weird creeper guy! Hello, Kent! Long time no see! It's been a while, eh? <laughs> Ellie Blue River. Looks like someone new has moved into the village. Yes, he's a villager who was originally living here. What's his name? His name is Roy. He is running a flower shop. Is he living alone? Yes, that's right. I see. All right, got it. I'm also relieved to see the village being restored smoothly. Is the Master Witch still not here today? Ah, yes, that's right. Since she's a busy person, ah! It was a joke. You don't have to hide anymore. I'm not sure what you're talking about. Dinner with friends, dinner alone, watch your TV alone. All right. <laughs> I knew that the Master Witch was not here for some reason. Oh, oh no, she's here. I also know that you actually have to go to the witch's house in Hylian and Hylie. Uh. Ah. Don't worry. I'm just curious. I wonder what happened. Please tell me. I will keep it a secret. Look at this. Look at this. Don't, don't trust someone that looks like this. This is, this is like a one white van away from big problems. Call an adult. Stranger danger. Stranger danger. You'll really keep it a secret? Of course. Actually. Don't tell him. Don't trust Kent. So that's what happened. You seem to empathize with the village, Jelly. I just did it as a taught. You'll keep it a secret, right? I can't leave this place behind now. Of course. I made a promise with you, Ellie. But I'm worried. Why? Even though Ellie is staying here with good intentions of helping the village. If you didn't go to Hylian, wouldn't they be waiting for you at the witch's house? And Hylian, Ellie! A true crime podcast I listen to always tells their kids this. No adult needs a kid's help, and no adult should keep secrets with kids. <laughs> That's good advice. That's how you prevent true crimes. Ah. Everything may seem fine, but the school for witches in Hylian will find out. When that happens... Giggle! <laughs> Oh, it's not Steam. I can't just hit the print screen button, can I? Like, that, that is a creepy motherfucker right there. Oh, I'm sorry. It reminds me of something from the past. When I curse this town, I'm clearly the villain! 
What should I do? What if the teacher finds out? I mean, I'd be really in big trouble if mom found out. That would be really big problem. But don't worry too much. I think I should worry considering Arya's personality. I understand. But it probably won't become known so soon. Why? I understand that the School for Witches does not send apprentice witches to a witch's house. That's why neither place will think anything is wrong despite your absence. Then that won't be a problem anymore, thank God! God? What's the cosmology of this universe? Only if there are no special conditions. And um... Is there something else? Um, no, not really. And I have something I want to ask you, is that okay? Of course. You're free to ask whatever, Ellie. I want to know what kind of person the witch who was originally at the witch's house is and where she went. That's right, there's a white cat god. There's other gods. Maybe she was referring to the white cat god, because like we know that's a god. We've met that god personally. I think it has something to do with the village, and probably with the prickly vine so-so. Can you help me? Of course! I don't know anything right now, so I'll investigate and let you know next time I come. I'll leave it to you then. I'll head back now. Alright, see you next time. Oh, I almost forgot. What? Honestly, if you were to give his sprite, not, not the character portrait up here, but like the sprite over there, Make that black hair? I would happily use that sprite to represent me. That's a good, creepy, tired-looking sprite. Ta-ta! Here's an award for the hard work! He gave me candy again! I don't trust it! I'm not gonna eat this candy! I'm really going to go now! To the white van that's unmarked down by the river! Indeed! Blue River! It's going the way I thought it would. So I guess I'll become a little busy now. <laughs> Evil laughter. Like I don't I don't trust that man. See, he's a nice guy. What on earth makes you think so? He seemed to be up to something. Prejudice is not a good thing, Virgil. You're just happy because you got candy, you stupid idiot. The candy's just something extra. He said he'll even find out about the witch who was there in the past. Yeah, he's a nice guy. Should be easy for him, considering the amount of info they get there. Right? We just need to focus on restoring the village. <laughs> I'd listen to Virgil. You want two healing candy. For 30 Luna coins, that's trash. Trash money. This is my village now. Give me that squishy chub fur. Yeah, I love me some squishy chubs. Mmm, squishy chubs. Or that pumpkin fur! You weren't supposed to drop pumpkin fur! I got robbed of pumpkin fur. Pursue power, steal your son's arm. Your shop ready, Roy? Oh yeah, it's almost ready, baby. How about you? You got anything for me? Cough candy accepts. Well, time to go s <laughs> chase after a bunch of little pumpkin monsters and steal their fur. I definitely have the one more thing problem with this game. Where it's like... Oh yeah, let's let's wrap this up. We're we're just gonna do one more thing. And then 
one more thing turns into several more things. It's a sickness. <gasps> Squishy chips. There's a decent pace to it, which I like. Like, Animal Crossing and a lot of these kind of games can often fall into the... Like, it's gonna take you three real-world days to have this thing happen. Which can be, like, a little bit slow. Animal Crossing, I accept it because that game is meant to be, like, a year-long experience. Years long, even. But this one, like, it feels like every few moments I'm getting a major little bit of plot. A big change happens in town, new characters show up. It's been moving at a good clip, I think. Like, not so fast as to lose its healing, relaxing properties. But fast enough that I feel like I have those nice healing, relaxing properties, but also I can see the fruits of my labor happening pretty quickly. It's good. It's a good pace. You burned yourself out on it in four months? The newer game, I will admit, I burned out a little faster, but I did play it for like a year and plus, and I pop in still every once in a while. The expansion really brought me back in for a bit. But, the 3DS version of the game, that one, that one, I, I really kept up with that one for a good while. I think the 3DS had a better, better pace to it. Plus, I was able to make my murder dungeon in that game way faster. You're too dang high. Give me your fur and stop running. Sleep well, queen. Wonder when that, that well is gonna open up and do something. All right, I got what I need for cough candy. To my secret workplace. By a four. Yep. All right, you become dry pumpkin terrier fur. Off candy is one smile bubble extract. I gotta get me some more smile bubble extract, huh? I gotta rub more bellies. All right, stage two to the right. Off candy. I might let the fountain work finish and then give the fireworks in. That way we're celebrating something tangible. At that point, they'll probably be like, here's how we fix the bridge. And that's when we stop. That's when we switch to Vampire Survivor, goddammit. Yeah, I want that to be finished. If we let one more day pass, that should happen. I'll take that time to go rub some bellies. I need more bubbles. God, I need bubbles! And we always need more squishy chub for... And by squishy chub, I mean pumpkin tear. Gotta chase him down, get that fur! Ah, someone's playing some noiters. <laughs> yes. There's some sexy, uh, sexy characters in this game. Which is funny, like, at first the game was just cutesy stuff. And then Kyla showed up and was like, wait a minute. I guess the wolf was on the train, so we knew there were gonna be some hot wolf dudes. And yet... No sexy spider ladies? 
I feel not. I don't. I don't see. I don't feel seen by this game. I don't feel seen. It's true. There's still time. There's still time. All right. We gotta rub bellies. Oh, I didn't say I felt discriminated. I felt I didn't see. I didn't feel seen. Exactly. Either a sexy spider lady or a sexy spider gentleman. Either one. Anthropomorphized spiders just look really cool. Just facts. All right, who wants belly rubs? Coming for those bellies. <laughs> Wait for someone else to roll over for belly rubs. Goddamn cute. So stinking cute. Might as well grab some of the maple we're gonna need, I'm sure. Uh, eat one of these. It's a weird noise. Another weird noise. <gasps> Bellies for rubbing. Thank you. Do 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 do. It's a really good harvesting method. What was really funny is, uh... Before we even knew we had to do belly rubs, Quark made a comment like, Aw, oh, those guys need belly rubs! And then I read the description of the book and it's like, You harvest their bubbles by giving them belly rubs! Like, oh yes! 10 out of 10 game confirms. Game of the year. What are you doing over here? I'm not used to seeing NPCs on this part of the screen. He's gathering flowers. Crystal stories. Is there a reason you started a flower shop? Well, the reason isn't very fun, to say the least. Still, usually there's a reason. That reason really isn't anything special. Come on! That's all he's got. Yeah, Roy has no patience for me. I guess I'll refuel my broom. Yeah, take a nap. Four hour nap. I'm just trying to pass into the next day so the building can be done. Do, do, do. Inventory. I'm now inventory. Oh, 
Oh yeah, I got plenty of sticks for broom. There we go, nice and refilled. Make this so it's already ready for next time. Yeah. I like seeing these even numbers in here. And one more. At some point we're going to have to go back to the potion crafting game too, because that got an update I saw. That's this game, but with a, a stronger capitalist bent to it. There we go, we got some smile bubble now. We got only two, really. I need to make more. Oh no, never mind. We got plenty of this one. We got 14 of that one. I was looking at the swamp reed one. We need more swamp reeds. I haven't been collecting this. When you get back to respecting the rat revolution, did that game come out yet? That need the game needs to be released first, and then I need to actually have that game in my inventory. My library, rather. Those are the two steps for the revolution. Because we finished the whole demo. Like, we went through the whole thing. Now we just need the game to be finished and in my possession. Whoa, I'm sorry. I can't, like, travel to an altered dimension where the game is released and I own it. Those are two barriers to play, for sure. I do want to continue respecting the revolution, though. That game was funny. Is it done? Is it done? Is it done? I will read a book all day if the house is not done. It's not done yet! It did say it would take two days. Respec the Ratvolution. Alright, I want to give this one more day to finish. I guess I could complete the quest for now by giving the fireworks in. Knight, I heard you're preparing something. Oh my, I guess everyone in the village knows already. But we don't know what it is. And I have also prepared something. I'm sure it's something wonderful if you prepared it, Ellie. And I'm sure it won't burn the whole village to the fucking ground. Would you call the villagers? You could do that later if you have some work left. You can use a firecracker potion at night. Should I spend time with Auntie until nightfall? Yes. Do it, my dear. It's been so long since all of us got together. <gasps> the fountain's done! Oh, that was perfect. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. I don't know if anyone else has noticed, there's something wrong with the scene. Now, all these sprites are correct, except for one. Arden brought his window, and he's frozen in the smoking cigar. Like, you can actually kind of see it. The, you can see his windowsill is there. Like, he brought the shutters and the window frame. So it's him at the nighttime pose where he hangs out of his shop window smoking. They just took that hat, that whole chunk of his sprite and just threw him floating in the air, even as a shadow. That's kind of amazing. That might be my favorite glitch ever. Well, not ever, but it's up there. It's a good glitch. Really sets the tone of the scene, you know? It's been so long since all of us got together. Come to think of it, I did give Ellie a proper welcoming. That's all there is to him. Art is thinking in cute sprite portals. The fountain is restored now, and I wanted to celebrate together again. Thank you all for coming. <gasps> Grandma's giant pie! Then I'll leave it to you, Arden. Ah, uh, don't get too close. I'm only a floating upper torso. Oh my god! He's moving with the window frame! 
He's bringing the whole window frame with him. Arden, what are you doing? Bring that window back with you. Wow, it smells amazing. It's the giant pie grandma used to talk about. Wow, it's been a really long time. I couldn't find this flavor even the famous bakeries of Hylian. Hey, it seems to be baked well. Even Ellie prepared something amazing this time. Here, Ellie, it's your turn. Here goes, a refreshing firecracker potion. I hope we don't all die! Strong man is absconding with Bub's concession stand. Yes. Whoa! So pretty, Ellie. You're the best. Wow, seeing the fireworks from Mysteria is great, too. Gorgeous! Those were some great fireworks, kid. It's so beautiful. The ones I saw with my husband a long, long, long time ago were just like this. Thank you, Ellie. I'm so glad everyone likes it. Now let's all have some of my pie. It's been a while since I baked a pie this big, so I'm not sure how it'll taste. Rubrum, will you please? Yep. If the sawing sound comes out, that's a bad sign. Did everyone get a slice? End Knight's giant pie. I wish that I and T were swapped, so her name was Enti. Enti just sounds so much more right than a knight. Enit? A knight? Enities? I don't know how to say this name. A special slice of the giant pie, a knight made to restore the village and welcome returning residents. Eating some will remind you of the fireworks you saw that day and make you feel happier. It smells really good! I'm drooling! It's been a long time since I had this. I miss this smell. Sweet things make my mouth feel gross, but this is delicious. Ha ha ha. Maybe Enti just has the magic touch. A giant pie, a giant pie! Thank you, Enti. Have lots, everyone. Eat well, be well. It's time to wrap up today, so we're ready for tomorrow. I would like to thank everyone again, especially Ellie. It's been happy times only since you came. You're the lucky charm of this village. <laughs> I really like Ellie too. If it wasn't for Ellie, I wouldn't have returned. Thank you for helping me return. Ah. Let's all keep doing our best. Oh my god, we did it! So it's like, it's an early access preview build? So apparently there is a definitive end to this preview build, and this is it. We have, like, completed what there is to see of this game so far. I really liked, like, all of this. When this comes out of early access, like, I think I will pick this up and play it for realsies. Oh, we get to keep going? There are no, no quests, though. I imagine there's nothing left for us to do. But that was good. I like that. Talk about a perfect endpoint. Those stairs are powerful stairs. Arden is just, uh, he's barely there, you know? I'm curious, like, how big the final game will be. I know there's a bridge to the right that's clearly gonna have more stuff. There's sections of the forest we haven't done yet. There's a couple of things that, like, clearly look like they're going to be important. I'm just running back to the house so I can hit the save button. Yeah, like a perfect little stopping point there. 